So, hi Helen. Hello. How are you doing today? I'm well. Good, good. So, it's a recording to talk about your experiences on this course. You just finished the driving course, or the driver therapy course. How did you feel before you began? I came here to endeavour to sort out a huge driving phobia I had with motorways and dual carriageways and I was really apprehensive. How did you feel on the first meeting? I felt nervous but you were very reassuring Thank you. as Thank to you. <laughs> what we were going to do and how we were going to approach it mm -hmm. and that uh, you weren't going to push me into anything that I felt uncomfortable with and calming, calming language. Okay, so the reassurance was important. Oh yes, absolutely. So that was required in order to make you feel a bit more relaxed? Or... And the emphasis on that all this was possible. Um, it was possible to, yeah. to sort out the issues, I, the, the phobias I was bringing. Well, and, a... it, and that it was common. I mean, I was not some kind of freak. That's a good point. Mm. That's a good point because often when people ring, and we've talked about this before, yeah. people call up and they truly believe that they're the only person that ever suffers from this and they're the only person that's ever, you know, had any problems of this nature and you learnt very quickly. I think one of the thing, first things I ever said to you was the phone never stops. It's, yeah. There's lots and lots of people that, that have issues with driving, issues with motorways, dual carriageways, single carriageways. Some people have other issues but they're still specifically about driving. What advice would you give to people who feel they have an issue with driving and considering taking some, some either training or some therapy help about it? What would you say to those people? Do it. Absolutely yeah. do it. Yeah. Don't just sit there suffering. It's surprisingly common and that there are people like you, Liam, to, that can help. And it, it is solvable. Uh, it is something that you can do something about. That's another really good point. Um, it is solvable. Some people truly feel it's not repairable, not solvable. They can't do anything about it. Personally, I'd say to those people, not the case, not the case at all. We can definitely work on it. We can definitely do some stuff about it. So you started to do your therapy training. And I mean, would you like to talk about how we begun that and what we did? Would that be? Yes. Uh... I mean, what you did, Liam, was have a look at um, some of my just basic driving um, style and, and sort out a couple. Oh, some very minor things I, I okay. had with that. We won't mention those. <laughs> <laughs> and and that, that was absolutely fine. Yeah. And in fact, they paid off yes. when um, I was started to drive back on the motorway again. How did you feel when the basic driving things were questioned and, and changed? How, how was that feeling? Initially, it was a little puzzling because, as I say, I wasn't thinking, well, hang on, I haven't actually come here to, to sort to out my sort of basic yes. dri driving. Yeah. But actually, they were very useful skills. And as I say, they came into play when we, we, we started to, to address what I, um, the, the fears that I had come to about, about getting back on dual carriageways and motorways and driving at speed. So you recognised the method? You recognise why it was there and why we were well, doing do, things. We do now. Because at the time, at the you time, were thinking, why are we doing this? At the, the time, it was a little puzzling. I'm thinking, well, hang on. I, yeah, okay, but that's not what I'm here for. I'm here for motorways. Like, yes, yeah. yes. Okay. Well, so we tidied some things up. We, we improved we the skills. Um, and I feel you learned very quickly with those things as well, I think. I think and I think you'll continue to, to actually learn the things we talked about. But then we took those skills and took them out onto a road where we got up to do some higher speeds. How did that go for you? Because to begin with, you weren't so keen on picking up speed, were you? No, uh, and that was the part of the issues that I was presenting with you, that I, um, it was progressive, this this um, phobia, and that I was moving to dual carriageways and then on to single carriageways because I was beginning to be quite fearful of speed. So... We went out onto some um, country lanes with big sweeping um, views out from like all sides and dips and things. And it was talking about the, the techniques that we'd practiced earlier on, um, using the space, having the space, realizing that we were in, I was in control of the vehicle. It, those In those kinds of environments, 
and being able to pick up speed in a controlled, calm way that was just really, really helpful. Yes. So that you you really did take to that pretty well. And you remember I said, who knows, you might even enjoy it. Remember that? <laughs> no, yeah. I actually did. Yes. Um, because at we, first you didn't think you would, but it, no, 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 no. And that's, no, and that's understandable. No, no, it's no, understandable, no. isn't it? But, um, but we went to some really nice places. Oh, it was well. it was beautiful because we went out in the uh, North Yorkshire countryside, and mm-hmm. uh, um, these were big sweeping areas. So, and I was a bit twitchy about wide open spaces as well. That was that I did have. A, issue with that but wasn't that, that strange it how was that it was actually something i found myself enjoying which was was quite unexpected i wonder if some very clever language techniques were used in order to help you with that oh i couldn't possibly say <laughs> <laughs> so then we moved on from that because i mean that, i mean it's fair to say that was a, a success that was that yeah. re- and in fact you did really well on that you really did no i um, I, I got up to um to 60 on yeah. uh, one stretch as uh, you said beforehand i would have that, that wasn't that. even that wasn't even in no the, that the, wasn't in sight no, yeah we, no. we didn't yeah. have have any concept of that no. before okay and then we moved on from that to do actual motorway driving tell me how you felt when you first went onto the motorway it was Bit of an issue because I think a lot of people in in, in my predicament, just the, the mere look of a blue sign of a yeah. motorway can yeah. can uh, you know make you distinctly uneasy, and that sort of feeling that you're going onto a motorway and uh, feeling uncomfortable on that. But with all the skills that uh, you'd help me pick up the day before, and I knew from what what you'd been telling me before that we were just doing one junction, we were going to go on. It was a short section and we were coming off again so already and and you had already driven it that was very important for you wasn't it because, yeah because it yeah. had to be a short yes function, didn't it? yes and, that and i knew yes. what i was going yes. into yes. and that i wasn't going into the unknown i knew what i was uh, I, I was going to be driving i knew that it uh, was a short section downhill and that um then i would be coming off so there was there should be nothing to be um to bother me by, okay. by that and so the demonstration beforehand helped you out as well oh yes i yes. think that was really important because then i had done it i knew what to expect when yes. i i turned onto that right okay we're going downhill this is this is what this road looks like and i know that i will be coming off at some stage all i've got to do is is, is okay it. and then we pushed on and we yep. did some other, i mean later obviously you got comfortable with that particular motorway, didn't yeah. you? you actually, yes, I got to the point where I said to you, could you do this by yourself all day, yeah. every day? Yes, and, you said, and yeah, I, was, absolutely. I was happy with that. Um, yeah, absolutely. And then we pushed on and it ended mm. a, a busier stretch, you know, yeah. a busier motorway. Um, How was that? You, I, I, I then drove on, because that, that motorway links onto another motorway, um, which was considerably more busy than the one that we'd been on, a lot more lanes. And... But that was that was that was fine. Having done what I built up to, and what was very helpful is that you built it up in stages. Yes. Uh, and again, I I knew what to expect, and it it was fine. I, it was it was a, a new experience for me, but it it was fine, and I did it. It was a challenge, wasn't it? Yes, it was a challenge. But it was a challenge you coped okay with. Yeah, yeah. I mean. I did feel a, a little uneasy at certain stages, but I, I did it. And then we, we stopped up again, turned around, came back, and I did two lengthy sections of of a motorway. Uh, the first mm-hmm. time I've done that for years. <laughs> so, if you can see the smile on your face now. And, um, you know, that's, that's a good feeling. And you're leaving me with... Um, I have the confidence now that I will get better and better. Good, good. Okay. So do you feel you got everything you need from this? Yes, yes. I think what you've done is is give me a whole new toolbox in which to look at this, um, this how I drive and how I, I cope and control the car that will make things so much easier in the in the last and i know it will get better good very good so final bit what advice would you give to anybody who is 
wondering whether or not they can change, whether they can overcome their phobia, whether they can overcome their fear, whether or not they can change the way they drive, and whether or not they can ever go on motorways again, or whether they can pick up the speed to get to be safe on the motorways. All of those things, uh, th- these things go through lots and lots of people's minds. Mm-hmm. What advice would you give to those? Having done it, what advice would you give to those people? There is help out there in the form of uh, Liam. and Thank you. Uh, <laughs> and don't don't just sit there suffering and think that you can't do this um i i that was that was my view i actually really thought i couldn't do anything about it that i'd i'd read books i'd gone on the internet and how other people were saying it worked for them and i didn't believe it would work for me and um it it can you can change you can change and and, and quickly too uh, so don't just sit there suffering in, in silence and, and giving up. And it, it is possible to change and, and do this thing. Fantastic. Well, thank you very much for that. You're most welcome. And I hope that helps anybody that's listening.